today. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. So I was actually going to start this video by saying, hey, and welcome back to another My Protein review. But then I was like, wait, this is not TikTok. I've never actually done My Protein review on here. But if you follow my TikTok, you will know that I've literally been doing My Protein reviews for literally the past, like, nine months, probably. Like, she's high-key obsessed. And the whole, hey, welcome back to my My Protein review is what I do on TikTok, but... I guess welcome to the first ever my protein review. So let's just address the fact that my hands are a completely different colour to my face. Emily, the tandrels that were meant to go on my face literally just stuck to my hands and are nowhere to be seen on my actual face. So let's just ignore that because it's quite literally making me cringe re watching this. <laughs> okay, thanks. So obviously the first thing that I'm gonna be reviewing this little like series I'm planning on making is gonna be the clear way. If you know me then sweetie, this stuff is like a holy grail, like you do not even understand my obsession. Like I've literally been buying these since they first came out and I have not stopped. Like they're literally the best thing since sliced bread. And I don't know how people do high protein diet without these. But when I say I'm obsessed, like I don't think you understand how obsessed I am. Let me just show you. Welcome to my collection. <laughs> so I've actually been planning on filming this video for like a hot ass minute, but I wanted to make sure I'd actually tried every single flavour before I came to you to like give you like a full review because it only seems right that I have to have tried them all first myself. And I'm not sure like how much I need to say or whatever but I just want to put it in here. I actually do work with my protein if you don't already know that. So obviously I'm kind of new to this, I don't really know how much I need to say but so the vast majority of these proteins I actually have bought with my own money and as I said I've been buying them for years. I've only been working with my protein for a couple of months now but I'm pretty sure I still have to state it. But when I say I've been buying these for years there's a reason that I've been buying these for years. But saying this if you do want to buy anything from my protein I do have a cheeky little discount code what can I say? So I put it on screen, but it's code Elmin, and this will get you 37% off all of your orders. You're more than welcome, sweetheart. Just check the website, and for a limited time only, Elmin will get you 42% off. What the hell? And I have got a little affiliate link, so I'll link it down below. So if you want to use that, then I honestly love you more than life. And it does just really help me out. So if you do use it, then I honestly love you so much. You're the best ever, honestly. It's so appreciated, you don't even understand. But anyway, let's have a little chat about the clear way isolate and what makes it so flipping good. So I'm sure you've all heard of like regular protein powder. For example, Impact Web Protein, and it will make you like a kind of banana milky kind of drink. And when you're looking at a portion of something like this, you're gonna be having around 100 calories with like 20 grams of protein. And that's just kind of like standardized calories, I guess. Like obviously some are a bit higher, some are a bit lower, but yeah, majority around 100 calories for 20 grams of protein. And when we're looking at clear whey isolate, we're looking more around 88 calories to 20 grams of protein. So obviously this is a little bit lower in calories, so it's even better for like weight loss and stuff, I guess. But like clear whey, instead of having like a milky taste, which I know a lot of people People like are a bit over in protein shakes because you wouldn't like normally on a day to day basis like if you weren't trying to get loads of protein in be having a milkshake every day like I know I wouldn't be normally having a milkshake but this is why this is such a literal game changer because it's more like having a juice so one of my favorite flavors is orange mango and when I tell you this just tastes like you're drinking like orange squash like it's crazy like the first time I tried it I was like, very skeptical I was like it's gonna have that weird like chemically tasty but it doesn't i bought one and i was like you know what i'm not expecting a lot i'm just intrigued to try and when i tried it genuinely my mind was blown it was literally the biggest game changer and when i bought one i quite literally tried it went back on the website and bought five more flavors like i'm not even joking that is how good it was and what i actually really like about these as well it's so easy to drink like at the gym so obviously the more like classic milky proteins that's not as like normal to drink in a gym session if you know what i mean because it's kind of like having a milkshake personally when i'm at the gym i normally would have water but having something like this i can easily have during a workout so it just makes the consumption of it a little bit easier so i just quickly looked up what my protein like puts in their product overview for it and i'm gonna read it out to you because it may mean something to you it sounds quite sciencey to me personally and i'm not really like into science i don't really understand the more like specific terms but some of you might so you may actually gain from this but it says clear whey isolate is not just another protein shake we've taken high quality hydrolyzed whey protein isolate and created a light and refreshing alternative that's more like juice than a milky protein shake so yeah it's literally meant to be more like juice and it literally comes in 11 different flavors i'll put the different flavor options on the screen here so you can see like your options. So also inside of them is BCAAs. But basically the way that I explain like BCAAs very simply is imagine you're building a house. The bricks of your house are protein. Like rebuilding your muscles kind of, you know, when like you exercise your muscles like 
tear a little bit. The protein is building the muscle. So picture that as the brick and picture the BCAAs as the cement. Like you could build a house without the cement, but it'd be nowhere near as stable. But using BCAAs just stabilizes the process, makes the house a lot stronger, makes your foundations a lot stronger. So that there's already BCAAs in the protein is also just unreal because it means you don't have to then supplement it and take it separately because it's already in there. So out of all the different flavors, I'm going to give you my top Five. There's none of them that I dislike, this is the thing. And I actually made a TikTok for my protein, like, racing the top 10 flavours. And I was like, it was fully one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, deciding which ones, like, go where in this list. I literally had to sit and plan for, like, half an hour, which is just ridiculous. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. But, like, I'm gonna go through them kind of, like, try and explain why I like the ones that I've put in this top five because there's no point in me going through like 11 different flavors because that is just a little bit excessive. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. I'm not gonna go through 11 different flavors and give you different readings. Like, I'm sure you can have some kind of idea of what watermelon tastes like without me having to explain what watermelon would taste like in a protein shake. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm gonna start from number five and then number one is gonna be my favorite. So, number five, grape. Mm. If you've ever tried Fanta grape. It's the same thing. You could put like a D-Fizz Fanta grape in front of me and then this is another glass like also next to it and I try them both and I tell you now I would not know the difference. It tastes identical. So if you like things that are like kind of artificial like sweet grape flavour, kind of like a Jolly Rancher. If you've had the grape Jolly Rancher, also tastes exactly the same as that. But it's just that classic grape like artificial taste and I know that's not a bit of everybody so... If that's not your thing then maybe go for a different flavour but that is definitely my thing. It's so sweet but it's just peng. Like, I can't even tell you. It has a really special place in my heart. Like, this was one of the first ones that I actually got. So, as you can see, I've actually got a fair bit left of this one. Because I like to... This sounds so sad. But you know when you, like, keep certain things as, like, your treat? <laughs> That's what grape is. Because I find, like, if I have something too much, like... The one that's in like first and second, I have them all the time and that's because they are my favourite ones and they're the best ones to go with everything. But they're not as special anymore and I like it. It's the same with like chocolates and stuff. My favourite chocolate I hardly ever have because I like to keep it for like special occasions so I appreciate it more. That's like grape. Grape holds a special place in my heart and if you like artificial grape then this one is for you. So the one I'm going to put in position number four. Mango coconut. Let me tell you now. If you've ever drunk Rubicon Mango, then you'll go and love her. I was personally very sceptical ordering Mango Coconut. It was actually in my third order of, like, clear proteins that I got this. Because I was like, I don't like coconut. Like, coconut isn't my favourite taste. Like, I don't have anything against her, but, like, it wouldn't be my go-to. I would never go to a chocolate shop and be like, oh, yeah, bounty. The lighting on this camera's gone so weird, I'm not really too sure why, so excuse that. But I would never choose something that was coconut, which is why I was very, like, mm, I'd rather go for something like Orange Mango, because... They both got mango in it and I like the flavour of orange more than I like coconut. So I never actually end up getting this until quite later on. But they taste so different. But let me tell you right now, this would not be placing forth if you could taste the coconut in it. Like, it genuinely, if you've ever tried Rubicon mango juice, it tastes identical to that. I'm not going to say if you put two things in the glass in front of me again because we already used that example, but... It's the exact same thing. And when I posted about it on TikTok, so many people were like, mm, I think she might be lying, but like, sweetie. A couple of people then like trusted me and tried it out and they're like, oh no, like you're actually right, like you're being for real, like it literally doesn't taste like coconut at all. And I'm telling you it doesn't. All you coconut lovers are gonna be like, fuck's sake, like I wanted it to taste like coconut, but like, I mean, I'm sorry, it doesn't. If you like Rubicon Mango, sweetie. She's beautiful. Really want to try this. Blending with the ice with a little bit of xanthan gum in the summer. And I think it's just going to taste like the pengest mango slushy. And I will be making it. So if you want to see it, then let me know. And we can see if that actually makes a slushy. It may go completely wrong. But that's the plan. Honestly, she is unreal. She is beauty. She is grace. I could not recommend her enough. Right. So the top three. I literally was umming and ahhing for so long as to which order to put these in. Because I think they're all quite level to me. Oh my god. Uh, why did I think that was going to taste nice? Why is there protein powder coming out of this? Okay. I, I've just, I literally just licked that protein powder before. Knew it didn't taste nice and I went ahead to lick more. Why? What's wrong with me? <laughs> but anyway, so this one I've put in third, but I have different reasons that I like the top three. So let's just say they all go together, but I'm just going to speak about this one first, but they're all amazing. So... Tropical dragon fruit. Has anyone actually tried dragon fruit? I was going to say because I haven't, but I'm pretty sure I tried one in Thailand. But I think it was in a smoothie. So I've never actually tried a dragon fruit, but I tried a dragon fruit smoothie. But I can't remember what that tastes like, so a bit of an irrelevant point. But 
sweetie. This one's very like sweetened water and I don't that sounds so gross but trust me it's just like refreshing like it doesn't have too much of a flavor so it's a perfect like I find this one's my favorite one to take to the gym it goes on really easy and it's really like smooth if that makes sense I like, say we're gonna compare it to like watermelon for example which isn't in my top five but we still love her all the same but this one's a little bit like thicker if that makes sense I don't know. Not that it being thick is like a bad thing. It's just a bit of a different like consistency, I guess. But this one's more of like the same consistency as like water. It goes down really easily, tastes really good. And she's just so refreshing. It's less of like a squash taste, but I don't know how to describe it, but it's so good. I couldn't tell if it tastes like dragon fruit or not, because I mean I don't really know what dragon fruit tastes like, if I'm completely honest with you, but she's beautiful. As again, this one was actually one of the last flavours I ordered because I was very sceptical because so I was like, I don't know what dragon fruit tastes like, I may literally hate it. If it's like bitter, I'm not the b biggest fan of like bitter things. It, she's honestly amazing, would happily put her first, but I guess I just go to her a little bit less, but yeah, she's honestly beautiful. Yeah, get her. But in place number two, you already know, orange mango. She is the elite of the elite. This honestly just tastes like you're drinking a pint of squash. Like I can't even tell you. I swear to God, if I put a blindfold on you, Gave you a pint of Robinson's orange and mango squash and this. You would not know the difference. And I literally put all my money on that. Unless you're like a really big Robinson's squash fan. Like, let's just say any normal orange mango squash. Because I want to like get these Robinson's squash fans like really like up in my grill. Because I don't actually drink Robinson's squash. I just drink Tesco's one. But So I always have this one and the next one with dinner. Because it just tastes like you're drinking like a normal like glass of squash. I mean, I'm saying this. I don't really drink squash that much. Like, I would never normally drink squash with dinner. Like... But it's got protein in it, hence we drink it with dinner. And, like, it goes down nicely with food. It goes with all food. Like, it's just fab. Like, it's just great. But she's beautiful. I highly recommend. And in first place, drum roll, please. I want you to be able to see the label. And I'm just drum rolling and you can already see. Right. <gasps> you know when you're so shit at editing, you know fully well you're not going to be able to edit the sound effects on? This is this. <laughs> it's cranberry raspberry Woo! so this one definitely is my favorite this is my third box in this one this one i keep permanently downstairs i'm only allowed to keep one downstairs because they're such big boxes and i actually get told off otherwise so this is my favorite one and it's actually full she's not even open yet but sweetie if you ever buy anything based on my recommendation take it <laughs> I'm not the biggest cranberry juice fan. When, like, I went on a girl's holiday to Malia, we were drinking, like, triple vodka cranberry juices. And ever since then, cranberry juice just doesn't hit the same, I'm not going to lie. It just tastes like vodka. Like, I don't I don't like cranberry juice. And yet again, I'm literally saying this about all my favourite flavours. I was a bit sceptical of them. This one I was also sceptical of, purely because of the incident with the cranberry vodka. But, she's my favourite one. This one I pretty much have every single day. Like, it's just such a solid flavour. It mainly tastes like raspberry. I can't really, like compare it to a squash i've never had raspberry juice but it's what i'd imagine raspberry juice tastes like does raspberry juice even exist can you get juice from a raspberry i mean i don't know i'm assuming you can because it's kind of like can you get strawberry juice i'm not really too sure you can get cranberry juice i'm just such an idiot so i'm sure you can get raspberry juice but i just can't even describe this to you it actually holds a special place in my heart like honestly the best thing ever. If you're gonna get any of them, I'd definitely say this one. It's the most like diverse one. I can drink it at the gym, I can drink it with dinner, I can drink it as like a sweet snack. It just goes with everything. And I can also imagine this being really pink as a slushy. <gasps> Should I make all of the my protein clear whey flavours into slushies? That's a good video idea. Tell me it's not a good video idea because it is a good video idea and don't actually care. If anybody copies that video I did before I make it, I'm gonna be fuming. I'm gonna put patent on it right now. Patented. Watch that have already been a trend that I just didn't know about. Watch it. Honestly, no my luck. But yeah, those ones are my top flavours. And if you want to know about any other flavours, feel free to comment it down below because I'm more than happy to give you like some answers about the clear white isolate flavours. But I can't make a whole video of me speaking about every single flavour because everyone's going to get bored as fuck. But yeah, let me go and get a protein shaker and I'll show you like what it looks like when it's actually been like shaken. It's really weird because it does literally just look like squash. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with the mojito one. I haven't had this one for ages. So I feel like it's only right I give her some more, like, airtime. She hasn't really been spoken about today, but she's also beautiful. And if you like mojitos, sweetie, it's for you. I'm not the biggest fan of mojitos, but I still like her, like, a lot. So it's saying something. I'm going to show you what she looks like when she's shaken up. So, three, two, one. So, here she is. This one's more, like, cloudy. You can, like, see that it's more, like, clear. 
hence the name. This is probably a very bad one to have shown because it just looks like it's very like watery milk. It kind of looks like lemon juice. That's the kind of vibe it's giving me. Should I do a live day says even though I know what she already tastes like? <laughs> okay, fine if you insist. <laughs> Mmm, I haven't had this one in so long. The only way I can describe it is it tastes like very like subtly lemony with a hint of mint. So just very, very refreshing. Oh my god, wait. It's literally been such a hot minute since I tried this. I feel like this should be in my top five now. Oh my god, now I'm feeling stressed. Okay, high key. I actually think I would like rate this alongside dragon fruit. It's the same kind of vibe. I literally feel like my entire life is a lie. Oh my goodness. Anyway, before I start debating my entire existence and start rewriting the entire order of my clay word proteins and which ones are my favourite, like, no one needs that. It's not that deep. Lockdown is evidently guessing to me. I've already spent an hour today thinking about clear way isolate, like I need to stop. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna close the video off here. And please let me know if there are any like other my protein products, any like just protein products in general you wanna hear like a review on. That's kind of my thing over on TikTok. So I'm very happy to like bring it over to YouTube and give like a bit more in depth review on everything. Cause obviously on TikTok, everything's very like short and sappy and very difficult to actually give my opinion on. But I pretty much have every single my protein product to this point. I'm quite literally the number one fan. So if you wanna know anything about any of the products, Feel free to DM me on Instagram or I'm happy to make a video like these on like other products. But yeah, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much in advance. I hope everyone's doing well in this lockdown. And I honestly can't wait for this all to be over. But just remember, gyms are open in less than a month. <laughs> Don't excite me because I genuinely will cry about it. And I'm not even joking. If you think I'm over-exaggeration, I genuinely will cry. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I love you all so much. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.